Order number one, administration of oath. Order number two, communication from the chair. Order members. Honorable members, allow me to recognize members of parliament from various African countries attending the Global Tuberculosis Caucus, the fourth African TB Summit. Honorable members, I wish to introduce to you a delegation of members of parliament from across the African continent seated in the speaker's gallery. There are quite many, so you bear with me. Thank you. Members standing, take your seats. This is quite a long list. Ben Suda, take the nearest seat. Excellent. I should give the Honourable Member for Makweni a minute to sit, being a PWD member. Honourable Rossi Museo, take the nearest seat. Hmm? Yes. Thank you, Ross. Honorable members, the colleagues in the speaker's gallery are one, Honorable Halima Alima Daoud, Deputy Minister of Health, Malawi, Honorable Pierre Flambeau Ngayap, Member of Senate Bureau, Republic of Cameroon, Frank Foni, Co-Chair, Honorable Esso Libanza Leon, Member of Parliament from DRC Congo, Honorable Mahat Ahmad Taha, Member of Parliament from Chad. Honorable Sakhayurun Halia, Member of Parliament from Chad. Honorable Zakaria Hassan, Chad Minister of Health. Honorable Joseph Nian Somwarib, Member of Parliament from Liberia. Honorable Jean Pierre France, Member of Parliament for Mauritius, also a member of the Pan African Parliament. Honorable Elisha Cliff Ishaku, Member of Senate, Nigeria. Honorable Mark Kurut Nawane, Member of Parliament, Ghana. Honorable Christopher Kalila, Member of Parliament from Zambia. Anglophone co-chair, Honorable Joseph S. Munzanze, Munzanje, Member of Parliament, Zambia, Honorable Gotthard Kasuto, Member of Parliament, Namibia, Honorable Susan Nuf, Member of Parliament, Cote d'Ivoire, Honorable Daniel Molokele, Member of Parliament, Zimbabwe, Honorable Ruth Lapode, Member of Parliament, Zimbabwe. Honorable Naema Lugangira, Member of Parliament, Tanzania. Honorable Fatima Tofig, Member of Parliament, Tanzania. Honorable Faustin Ndugulile, Member of Parliament, Tanzania. Honorable Abuk Payit Ayik, Member of Parliament, South Sudan. Honorable Elsina Maridze, Member of Parliament, Mozambique. Honorable Nohu Arba, Member of Parliament, Niger. Honorable Joel Sebikala, Member of Parliament, Uganda. Honorable Members, the delegation is accompanied by Ms. Evelyn Kibuchi, National Coordinator. Stop TB Partnership Kenya, Ms. Deborah Ibevi, Frank Foni Countries Coordinator, Global TB Caucus, Mr. Paidamoyo Magaya, Anglo Foni Countries Coordinator, Global TB Caucus, and Chief Austin Obiefuna, Vice Chair, Stop TB Partnership Geneva. 
Honorable members, the delegation is in the country to attend the Global Tuberculosis Caucus, Fourth African TB Summit 2023, under the theme Future Proof Africa TB Summit 2023, driving high level political will to meet United Nations high level meeting UN HLM targets of ending TB. Honorable members, the summit brings together parliamentarians civil society organizations, experts, and technical partners from across Africa. The summit provides an opportunity for parliamentarians and relevant stakeholders to discuss how to collaborate better within their countries to ensure an impactful TB response in preparation for the UN high-level meeting on TB in September 2023. Honorable members, the Global Parliamentary TB Caucus is an international network of MPs across the world who came together with the sole objective of addressing TB globally and in their individual countries. It was founded and launched in 2014 as a platform for improved political commitment to tackle TB, one of the world's most infectious killer diseases. Honorable members, our own National Assembly TB Caucus, which was established in 2016, with a membership of 30 members of parliament drawn from across the various political parties represented in the House, and now led by the member for Matungulu, the Honorable Stephen Muller MP, who is the co-chair of the African Regional TB Caucus, is spearheading the Global Tuberculosis Fourth African TB Summit 2023. Honorable members, on behalf of the National Assembly and my own behalf, I welcome the delegation to Parliament and wish them a fruitful engagement during the stay in the country. Honorable members, it is important to note that from WHO sources, TB is the most resurgent disease today ravaging Africa. So we want to thank Honorable Mule when I finish the next communication. I'll give you a minute to acknowledge your colleagues and I encourage you all members, starting with the Chair of Health, Honorable Bukose, to take a serious, serious attitude and concern about the resurgence of TB that is ravaging people everywhere in Africa. Honorable members, the next communication is a recognition of a delegation from the Count Assembly Service Board of El Geo Maraquet. I wish to introduce to you a delegation from the Count Assembly Service Board of El Geo Maraquet, who are seated in the Speaker's Gallery. The delegation comprises members of the Count Assembly of the El Geo Maraquet Service Board. They are Honorable Filmona, Philemon Sabolei, Speaker of the Count Assembly and Chairperson of the Board. The Honorable Hilary Kiplagat, Vice Chairperson. The Honorable Lawi Kibire, Member. The Honorable Livingstone Talel, Member. The Honorable Elizabeth Kaitani, Member. The delegation is accompanied by the Clerk of the Count Assembly, Ms. Jane Kiptum, Mutai, and other Assembly staff. The delegation is attending an induction training at the Center of Parliamentary Studies and Training CPSC in Karen. Nairobi to enhance skills and expertise required in the execution of their mandate. On my behalf and on your own behalf, honorable members, I welcome them to Parliament and wish them success in their program. Honorable members, I will uh, give 20 minutes to members who want to comment on the TB issue given its importance as I understand it. I'll give Honorable Mule two minutes. The rest of the members who want to speak, I'll give you one and a half minutes each. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, and I want to take this earliest opportunity to thank you for your amazing support to this endeavor. Honorable Speaker, I rise to welcome my colleagues from all over the African nations to our National Assembly in Kenya and to the Kenyan fraternity. Honorable Speaker, the, TB, the Global TB Caucus is a unique international network of political representatives with support from more than 150 countries 
which works exclusively in dealing with high burden of tuberculosis across the globe, has helped 57 countries to, uh, to, to, to form national TB caucus all over the, uh, the world, and Kenya has not been left behind. We have the Kenya chapter. The caucus aim at accelerating progress against the global tuberculosis pandemic through targeted action at the global and regional and national level. Over 2,000 member, uh, 2,500 members of parliament work to raise the awareness of the disease and enable cross-cutting policies to transform the response of TB globally. Honorable Speaker, the National Assembly TB Caucus was formed in 2016 and as a membership of 30 members, the caucus is chaired by the, myself, the member for Matungulo, Honorable Stephen Mule, who, is, who am also the chair of the African TB caucus and the vice president globally. Mr. Speaker, since its inception, the caucus has been championing initiative towards the ending of TB pandemic in the, in the country and the globe at large through collaborative efforts in non-governmental organizations, civil society organization, and all other stakeholders involved in the fight against tuberculosis pandemic. Honorable Speaker, upcoming third African TB, fourth African TB uh, 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 caucus summit with the theme Future Proof. Africa TB Summit 2023, driving high-level political will to meet United Nations uh, high-level meeting targets for tuberculosis, will be held from today up to Saturday here in Nairobi. The summit seeks to bring together parliamentarian civil society organizations, experts, technical partners from Anglophone, Francophone, Lusophone, Africa, to meet uh, alongside members of the Kenya TB caucus, media, healthcare, and the Ministry of Health. Finish the, up. Your time is up. Summarize. All right, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you very much. This morning we have had very fruitful uh, engagement with the Ministry of Health and the members you have seen there. And I believe before Saturday we are going to make the Nairobi declaration whereby we are calling on all African presidents to be available in New York in September to make sure that we make an African case to make sure that we end TB once and for all in Africa within the next season by 2030. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I want to appreciate you in person. And the members up there, they have asked me to ask and request you to be their patron uh, the way your predecessor, Honorable Muturi, used to be globally. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Mule. I'll oblige you. Honorable Bukose, two minutes. Chair Health. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and for allowing me. Encourage your colleagues to attend the meeting. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for allowing me to join Honorable Mule in uh, congratulating the Honorable Members from the African region for attending this uh, Nairobi Summit on TP. Honorable Speaker, uh, just for your information and the information of the House is that we attended, uh, we had members from the Health Committee, we had Dr. Nyekal, we had Honorable Sunguli, and others who attended the meeting this morning. And uh, I think this is a very important uh, sensitization meeting. I was there when we started uh, the Kenyan chapter of this caucus, and even when we joined our global brothers in uh, Barcelona to launch the global the GP uh, caucus for members of parliament, and I've been a member up to today. And the Honorable Speaker, I think we've made tremendous achievements. And uh, we want to ask members that uh, this caucus is actually to encourage for, club, for resource mobilization, local resource mobilization for us to end TP. And uh, it is important that to understand that uh, globally for us to end TP, our target is around 57 billion US dollars. Currently, we are, we are putting around 0 0.9 billion US dollars per year, and that is way below, which is around 0.015%, which is very low. So I think we need 
members to understand that this is something that is doable, and if we come together, we can be able to mobilize resources, we can be able to eliminate tuberculosis. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Dr. Bukoso. Dr. Nikal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. May I also take this opportunity to congratulate and to welcome our colleagues from across Africa for taking time to be here and to actually focus on the issue of TB. So, Speaker, I had the opportunity to attend the, this morning session with them, and two things came out that I really flagged in the one hour or so that you are there that I, should, I think should be pursued by both them and us as members of parliament, and this was how to finance TB. And what came out is there is an arrangement called debt swap. That is debt for, debt for health. So that if we had debt with the World Bank, the money we are paying to World Bank as repayment of a debt can actually be used to finance TB in our country. And I think that's a great thing that we should all focus on, our budget committee and our colleagues, so that instead of paying this as debt, we actually use it to finance TB in our country and eventually in our continent. With that, Mr. Speaker, I support... Dr. Nikal, for the record, are you talking of financing the eradication of TB or financing TB? <laughs> Uh, in, in, in our world, when we say financing TB, it's understood to be financing the management of TB. <laughs> so, uh, the management and the eradication of TB. Thank you. So, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Kitonga Murugara. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also rise to welcome the delegation from across the continent of Africa. Uh, to Parliament and to Nairobi for this very important global summit, uh, which deals with one of the greatest ailments, especially in Africa, where TB is known to cut short lives of many people, including young children, the vulnerable, and those who are not able to afford proper medical care. As you discuss the caucus on TB, it's vitally important that you also make a provision in that protocol that you've mentioned, that governments must be prepared to put aside money to finance management and eradication of TB, which, in my view, as a bacterial disease, there is every likelihood that it can properly be managed and it can be eradicated from the surface of the earth and especially from Africa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Dr. Uh, not Dr. Wanamurugara. The next I give to Didimas. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I take this opportunity to loud the efforts being spearheaded by the very competent member of parliament from Tungulu, who has used the better part of the uh, last three weeks trying to see how we are going to combat this TB menace. And I want to ask my very good friend, Horobo Pio and I, to learn from the member of parliament for Matungulu, to use his energy positively and not to waste his time on unhelpful things that don't take this country forward. I thank you, Horobo Speaker. Oh, Pio and I. <laughs> uh, you know, let me also take this opportunity to welcome <coughs> the very, very eminent delegation. Uh, from the continent of Africa uh, on this mission to eradicate TB. Uh, I also wish to acknowledge the, the County Public Service Board from El Gayo Maraquet. I know they are doing a wonderful job down there. Okay. Mr. Speaker, uh, let me thank uh, my good friend, the Honorable uh, uh, Member for Matungulu. Okay. Uh, the Honorable Mule has, since the 11th Parliament, been associated with this fight against TB, and very consistently so. 
if there is a member of parliament whose dedication to the fight against TB needs to be recognized, then it is Honorable Mule. But I want to say this. The fight against TB, just like the fight against any other disease, requires political goodwill. From both the executive and the legislature. And I suppose that this uh, mission will not be in vain. That it will add to the, the uh, will add the impetus to the fight against TB, which is a very Rahim Daoud. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I would like to welcome the delegations, the members of parliament from the African continent, and my namesake, I had a Dawood as well as an MP from another country, so they should know there is another Dawood, maybe a different color. But let me uh, congratulate Mishmi uh on his leadership of the TB uh, within Africa, and Mr. Speaker, Worldwide, we have lost at the, uh, in 2021, up to 2021, 1.6 million people have been lost to TB, and more than 10 million people have had TB up to 2021. So we need to do better interventions to stop TB, because I remember in Meru General Hospital, we used to have a ward dedicated just to TB. So, Mr. Speaker, well, we will, as a, as a legislature, we will join hands with uh, Mushma Mule and the government, the executive, in eradicating TB completely. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Timothy Kipchumba. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to, to speak on the subject matter. But, Honorable Speaker, before I speak, I would like to welcome the delegation from the county assembly of Elugia Marakwet. Honorable Speaker, prior to joining this parliament, I served in the county assembly of Elugia Marakwet from the year 2013 to 2022 as, as the legal counsel to the county assembly of Elugia Marakwet. So, Honorable Speaker, I, 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 had, I learned a lot from the county assembly of Elugia Marakwet and therefore I welcome the delegation. Honorable Speaker, that is my contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Makali Mulu. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, let me join the Honorable Members and yourself in welcoming this delegation from our colleagues from Africa. Honorable Speaker, I want also to single out two of those colleagues who we serve together in the CPA Exco Africa region. That is Honorable Kasuto from Namibia, and Honorable Christopher Kalila from Zambia. So most welcome to Kenya once more. Honorable Speaker, this caucus is doing a good job for this country and also for the rest of Africa and internationally and we wish them well as a house. The only thing we can do is we support the caucus which is led by my colleague Honorable Mule and more so provide resources for eradication of TB, Honorable Speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mother Wangari. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I also join my colleagues in welcoming the delegation and also congratulating Honorable Mule for his consistency in the fight against TB. And Mr. Speaker, this is also part of the SDGs. We recently held the high-level political forum in New York on SDGs. And SDG 3 of good health and well-being, this is part of it. And more importantly, Mr. Speaker, TB in children is very hard to diagnose. And by the time it is diagnosed, it's usually very late. They are being treated for uh, several other ailments and not TB. So it becomes fatal late. It can be prevented and it can be treated. So I want to encourage the team to continue and for all of us to support the caucus in the fight against TB in the country, in the globe, and even in this continent. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Majority Leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Let me also take this opportunity to welcome the Global Caucus on TB. Honorable Speaker, Africa indeed uh, is one of the places where this disease is very prevalent, and mostly because of our crowded neighborhoods, uh, especially those in urban areas and uh, peri urban areas where there are slums and people live in very abhorrent conditions, and therefore the, such communicable diseases become very easy to spread. Honorable Speaker, uh, as I welcome them, let me make a commitment that uh, in September, when the UN high-level meeting is convened in New York, 
the President of the Republic of Kenya will join other presidents in supporting the fight against TB in the world. Honorable Speaker, we are a nation that has against TB and other communicable diseases, but also in ensuring that there is universal health care in this country. And as I welcome them, uh, we commit also as members of the National Assembly and the Parliament of Kenya to support this caucus in the fight against TB. And of course, there is a very good nexus between the prevalence of TB and HIV AIDS. I hope all these things through the caucus will be able to articulate them. Uh, and I welcome them to the Republic of Kenya, the greatest nation in Africa. Thank you, Majority Leader. I think we'll end there. Those who have spoken, I've spoken for all of you members. I know that uh, TB is something very frightening. Visit your local hospitals and you'll see the pain that TB